Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a vanity tour. Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm really happy with how my vanity looks at the moment. So I really wanted to do a video showing you how I organized it and how I keep um, the stuff that I put on the top of my vanity, like perfumes, jewelry, and all that sort of fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'm just going to get straight to it. I'll start with the bottom. If you can see under my vanity, on one side is a... Um, zebra print box and then another box on top of that and then on the other side is just a silver travel case. In my um, zebra print box I keep all my like fake tanning stuff so I keep um, my lotions and um, sprays and all that sort of stuff and gloves so that's like my fake tan box and how ironic it's orange um, and then the box on top of that is where I keep all my body sprays so um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then in this little travel box on the right over there, um, I keep all my nail stuff. So nail polishes, nail glue, acrylics, um, lotions, like cuticle creams, all that sort of stuff is kept in there. And then if you're wondering what I keep in my five vanity draw drawers, I keep all my makeup there. I'm not going to get into that today because that's a whole nother video in itself, but yeah, that's what I keep in there. And as for my stool, it actually had, um, it came with a vanity and it had a horrible old floral print on it, like cover, so I changed it to a velvet um, zebra print one, so yeah, I think it looks much better. But I'm just going to start from left to right. Um, so on this side I have, I'm going to start at the back, this bodice over here. And this is where I keep my most worn necklaces. So I have about 15 there, or 10 or 15, that I wear on a regular basis. And I love keeping them hanging on a bodice because I just think it's really pretty. And then um, down here I have, this is just a candle, um, which I like to burn because I love candles. Um, and then this jar over here has like all my... Um, or a bunch of my bracelets in it just this is mostly not um, how do I explain it like bracelets that are on like a cord I guess you could say like that or um, there's a couple of beaded ones in there but most of these are on like a cord that's the ones I keep in there and then over here I have this why did my camera go out ah there you go this um, stand here and I keep all my metal like cuff sort of bracelets on here so I just have about I don't know, about seven or eight that I like to keep on here. These I wear on a regular basis, so I like to display um, display the stuff that I'm going to wear a lot because it's easy to see and easy to like grab for if I'm going to be using it. So that's why I like to display my most worn jewelry. And then in this little um, mirrored set of drawers, I keep more jewelry. So I guess you could say this side's definitely for jewelry. The first drawer is some rings. The second drawer is like a miscellaneous drawer that won't open at the moment. And then the bottom drawer is like more rings again. Um, I keep all the jewellery that I don't wear on a regular basis in these little boxes because they're pretty. But um, they've got everything that I need in there. And um, you know they're like it doesn't look too cluttered because I'm not displaying too much jewellery if you know what I mean. So I just like to be really selective with what I display and what I put away. And then... In the middle here, this is pretty simple. This is just a two-tiered cake stand. Um, I actually picked this one because it had little diamantes and it's like mirrored, which kind of goes to the theme of my room. And that's where I keep all my perfumes. Nothing too exciting. I might do a perfume collection video, so if you want to see that, let me know. And then on this side, I have um, another set of drawers. So in this set of drawers, I keep more jewelry. The top drawer is like necklaces, um, this is necklaces again, and then this is bracelets. So again, I keep um, the jewelry, the, all this jewelry in this box I do wear, but I don't wear on a regular basis, so I like to keep it um, stored away. And then on here I have this little box, which I actually, it was just a little jewelry box that a bracelet I think came in and I put this little sequin headband on it to make it look more glitzy and glamorous and then I just keep like my everyday rings in here I put some little pebbles um yeah that's a bit of a DIY project that I did but um yeah I keep my everyday rings in there and then I have my mirror or my little hand mirror that um on the other side it's four times magnifying so if I like need to do um eye makeup I'll use the other side instead 
And then this is another little bodice. I used to keep rings on here, but now I just display it because I think it's really pretty. And then um, this box keeps my watches in it. So um, yeah, I, I pretty much wear this watch every day. So I like to keep this one out, but the watches I don't wear every day, I like to keep in my box. And then this little jar here also has bracelets, but these are all like beaded bracelets. Um, majority of these are brown, silver, and turquoise, so I like to keep them all in there, kind of color coordinated. And then here I just have some Mardi Gras beads, and I forgot to show you, I have some gold Mardi Gras beads here. They kind of just add some glamour to my dressing table. So that is my vanity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.